How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at this cat bottle humidifier. Now, this is from Daiso Japan. And if we move this forward a little bit and zoom in, we can see that this is also powered by USB. So that's only about 5 volts of electricity. And you can see right here on the front, if we get a little bit closer, this is the cat one. And they had multiple different ones at the store. I think there was a panda one as well. But I thought this one was really cute. And as you can see right here at the bottom, the paws actually overlap the little thing from the bottle and like hold on there, which is really cool. It has like a little tiny kind of like imprinted cat face on it. Very, very cute. And like I said, this is a humidifier as you see the steam coming up. So this can help a lot when, you know, you're really dried out or maybe you're sick or something. So it says ultrasonic humidific humidification. Then over here it says USB powered type. We turn on the side right here and focus in. It says add water to the plastic bottle. It says a small 10 fluid ounce is recommended. Attach the head of the plastic bottle and then plug it into an AC adapter. But I'm going to try actually plugging it in to my keyboard or my, my computer. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up right here. And it looks like it has one of those little kind of clamp designs. This is what the inside packaging looks like. It looks like the USB is actually a separate piece. It's nice that it comes with a USB and it is powered through micro USB if you can see right there. So if you still have a cell phone that works with micro USB, you could use this to charge your phone too. So multiple different uses right there. Slide the plastic off. Oh, that's really cute. So one thing that I noticed from touching it is the ears are actually able to move a little bit. They're uh, kind of out of a softer plastic. So it's kind of cute. This is the top portion that blows out the steam. Has a little bit of a sticker on the back. I think we can remove that though. Let's see. Ah, not uh, not very satisfying. That's okay though. We have a little corner over here. Sometimes you're able to do it the second time if you have patience. Oh, that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. There we go. And then that right there too. And as we can see right here on the back, if we zoom in right about there, we have the USB slot. So be careful not to get any water into that. So all we have to do is plug this in now. It looks like this actually moves. I wonder why. Does it come off? Oh, this must be to actually make it to where maybe water can go in. I'm not too sure. I'll leave it how it originally was, though. So the wire is... You know, it's an okay length. It's a standard length. Let's go ahead and plug that in. You never plug it in the right way the first time. There we go. And when you do, you're like, whoa. <laughs> and then all we have to do bottle of water and then we're going to zoom up a little bit there we go let's see did it actually clamp on there all the way now it doesn't seem like it's a tight seal but it definitely went into the grooves so it's definitely on there I just wouldn't turn it upside down or anything now let's grab the USB plug it in and see if we can get some humidity going on there
there we go. So after a little bit of tedious work, um, I found out that the inside thing, I needed to turn it a little bit in order to allow the water to come up, I believe. And I don't think my computer had enough power, though it could have just been the fact that I hadn't turned that yet. But I plugged it into just one of my extra, you know, USBs for the power plug, and the stuff's coming out. It's humid. It's coming out and working really good, actually. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put my fingers there for a second. The uh, moisture. But, uh, yeah, it, it's actually working really good. It's just powering that out there. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's really cool. And I would say that the bottle right here, getting a smaller one would be a little bit smarter. Maybe one of those miniature bottles because this doesn't reach all the way to the very bottom and you probably would want a bottle that uh, does. That You could still use one of these, you just have to fill it up past this point down here. What do you guys think? I think it's a really, a really interesting idea, especially for people who, you know, just want to like plug it in by their computer or they just want, you know, a little bit more, you know, refreshing kind of, you know, humidity by them without having to set up an entire humidifier. But I really like it and I'm really happy that I bought it. I have a lot more Daiso products that I want to be able to show you guys, so get excited and I will see you guys soon. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.